Daphne Lim, dermatologist. So you'd like to know more about anti-aging skincare. Generally speaking, dermatologists like to keep it simple. We have sunscreen, which is super important because that protects our skin from damaging UV rays. From there, we generally add an antioxidant. An antioxidant is your second layer of defense after sunscreen. Applied in the morning, it can reduce the amount of free radicals and UV damage to your DNA and deep dermal collagen. And the three antioxidants that we mostly prescribe include ascorbic acid or vitamin C, tocopherol or vitamin E, as well as ferulic acid. From, the, from there, our PM or nighttime routine generally involves one of two things. A retinol, which is basically a vitamin A derivative designed to reduce your pigment but also build up collagen and help you regulate your skin's oil production. The other thing that we like to use are acids. And the type of skincare acid that you use depends on your skin sensitivities as well as what your aims are. So if you can tolerate a wash, we might actually prescribe you something like a salicylic acid wash every night or every second night as tolerated. But be careful because if you add salicylic acid with potentially irritating chemicals like ascorbic acid and retinol, you might end up with a rash. So the other acid, which is one of our favorites, include glycolic acid or lactic acid. These are alpha hydroxy acids and they work in one of three ways. Firstly, they can exfoliate your skin, leaving a brighter skin. Secondly, they can potentiate the penetration of other chemicals, for example, vitamin A and vitamin C. And thirdly, they can actually build collagen especially in higher concentrations. This skincare rate routine is generally speaking favored by most dermatologists and I know for a fact that's the one I follow and most of my colleagues follow. From there you can add other chemicals, for example other antioxidants and certain pigment specific inhibitors, for example arbutin, um, citric acid, cystamine, um, hydroquinone and there's a whole heap of other botanicals that we use to reduce pigment. If you have rosacea skin or sensitive skin this is really complex and I encourage you to seek the help of a professional. So more on how dermatologists manage anti-aging issues and what prescription medications we use or techniques we employ explore the Cutest Dermatology website.